Hello! Glamazon delivery for the pretty one? Oh, that's me! Yeah, there's a whole pile outside. Say, you look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. This place does look a little familiar. Kind of reminds me of a place where I was robbed. Anyway, uh, these packages aren't going to deliver themselves. Bye. Huh. Well, that was weird. Say, are these the materials for the Crafty Beaver Challenge? They sure are. Cherry, you ordered Christmas decorations for the Summer Camp Challenge. Were you online drunk shopping again? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle in my cart. <laughs> No. Well, anyway, it's too late to get materials now. I guess once again, I'll have to save the day. But what can we do? Oh, oh, we could have the campers make toys for less fortunate campers. Yeah. But, but you know, nowadays the kids want all high tech toys. So we're gonna have to take a quick trip over to China, get some electronic doodads, some circuit boards, and no, 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 Cherry. Ideas are just not your thing. I've got it. We'll do Christmas, Christmas in July! Congratulations on making it to the top half of Camp Wanakiki. Yeah. Yeah. Today, you'll be competing for your Crafty Beaver Bag! Yeah. Now, we decided to spruce things up a little bit and get a little festive here at Camp Wanakiki because it is now Christmas in July! Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that not everyone celebrates Christmas, but who doesn't love the holidays? Am I right? <laughs> so, for today's challenge, you're going to take this poor little Christmas tree and you're going to turn it from a Feliz Navi don't into a Feliz Navi yeah! <laughs> you are each going to make your very own tree topper. However, you can only use the items on the table. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use the crate. <laughs> oh my. Oh yeah. my <laughs> now let me warn you, campers. You only have 15 oh, minutes oh, no. in which to complete this task. And who knows? The winner of today's competition might even receive a special little benefit that will help her at the next challenge. Ooh. All right, campers. On your marks, get set, Merry Christmas! Take you anywhere. <laughs> so, Coco, are you coming for your redemption moment now? I really uh, am. Is that I really, something? I really am. Ooh. Insert funny joke here to make me more likable. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take more than a funny joke to do. That. Oh! oh someone's getting off of it now! Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is this? Only my mom. Oh. The 
It looks like your outfit from last, from night. last night. Yes. yes. Oh, hello. decorate myself instead of the tree. <laughs> Are you just gonna go sit on top of it? Yeah. Mm. At this point, at Are this you point, be a tree top? we've been isolated tree for so long, I would literally <laughs> f the tree. Don't tempt me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. not tempt Don't me. Tempt me. Our parents used to just give us tamales so we'd have something to unwrap in them. Oh. <laughs> well, look at this. A room full of bombs making their own tops. <laughs> Christmas has arrived! Hi. How's everybody doing? Great! Thanks. All right, well time's up, so let's have a look at those Christmas tree toppers. Yeah, why don't you tell us all about them? Coco, tell us what you've made. So my Christmas tree topper, um, so in my household we actually celebrate Kwanzaa and Christmas. So that's why I had the candy cane bow at the end. Um, but I also had this little African drag queen on here because you can see her roots, you know that that's a wig. <laughs> on here to represent myself and then this other little black, I found all the black dolls on the table. And then <laughs> and then I put my fan in the background because now I'm gonna celebrate our little holiday here at Camp Funny Kiki every year. Oh. Oh. And then I put, so I put all the glue on here and then all the little rhinestones because if anybody knows about Kwanzaa, I know we all have access to the same Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> But it's about community, togetherness, food, unity, and so it has a lot of different colors. So, yeah. Wow. Good job. Very thoughtful. Tora, what you got, girl? This is called Legs Up Christmas Eve. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Mommy's been kissing Santa a little too much. It's cold outside, so things have frozen over. She's oh. wearing her evening gown all blinged out. Notice she could be upside down. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was an adult version of Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, Ruthie. Let it go. I thought maybe she had a unicorn fetish. I wasn't sure what was happening there, but I, I like it. All right, uh, Vivica. Yes, this is the Christmas on Planet Wanakiki. We have our current crowning queen right here. She got a hair job. It's a little purple, but this is Alexis Bevels, top of the tree with a lot of her dear friends on the side. <laughs> it is gorgeous, pearlescent, and it has lots of long cylindrical things and. It's just used for whenever you need to have a good time mm -hmm. after Christmas is over. Love it. Well, Alexis is going to love to put that on her eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Start the bidding at 50. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, the lovely Diana Faya. My tree topper is actually a tree bottomer. Uh, <laughs> for this challenge, I really channeled all of the um, suppressed sexual frustration that comes with living in the woods with drag queens for a week. Um, she is a mother f***ing dick pig who has taken off her face for the evening and is ready to celebrate with these um, pearl necklaces dangling from her teeth. Super wholesome. <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> that's all! That's it! That's all you're getting! Perfect. You're welcome! We're all a little speechless! <laughs> and we need a cigarette! Yeah. <laughs> so Claire, tell us about your tree topper. Yes, for my tree topper, I was inspired by Lunch Lady by JJ. So I found my Wait, own right? little pony. Then I dropped some acid and just started gluing <laughs> shit to it. Um, some of her features include Dear Ruthie in a wedding veil on the tip of her nose. I didn't even know. I'm proposing later. <laughs> oh. um, she's wearing a lot of leftovers from the sugar baker's closet. Oh. <laughs> it's colorful, it's a little human centipede, but you really put a lot into it, I think. I think it's adorable. A Thank lot. you. Thanks for the visual. Hey Kitty, why don't you show us your tail? I mean your topper. Well, I would like to introduce y'all to Santa's mistress, Miss LaShonda Noel. She's a ho 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 and she's trying to earn those holiday coins so that she can get some stocking stuffers. Pretty cute. Wow. That is very <laughs> adorable. Well, good job campers. You got us in the holiday spirit. There wasn't a Grinch among us, but one camper truly slayed the competition. Congratulations. Kitty! Yay. Yay! You won the daily camp activity today. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, campers, tonight's talent show theme will continue our Christmas in July. 
you'll need to make holiday inspired outfits using only the materials in these boxes. But wait, there's myrrh. <laughs> <laughs> You won't be making these outfits alone. We found some special elves hiking through the forest around camp. Look outside! <gasps> oh! You will be paired for this challenge with one of your camper elves. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> now, Miss Kitty Litter ATX, you won the daily camp activity, so you get to choose your partner. So, Kitty, who would you like to work with? Well, gals, you know I love y'all, but I just adore the aesthetic of Ivana, so I would love to have her. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> I really missed everyone, you know. It really was hard having to take a hike because I wanted to do so much better than I did. But now I have a chance to come back and absolutely slay for Miss Kitty Litter. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it's been kind of hard to have to be separated because in some ways we become kind of like a family. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. The other campers. <laughs> Their partners will be chosen randomly by pulling the campers' names from this stocking. So let's start with Claire. Yes. You will be paired with Paris. Ooh. Ooh. Paris. Ooh. I was absolutely happy to get Paris as my partner. The fate of those buttons has been good to me all, all camp long. Getting to come back, uh, it's an honor, like getting to see all the other campers. This experience was amazing because uh, I feel like I got sent home too early, but I got lost taking my hike and found my way back here. It worked. <laughs> All right, Diana. Boris. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is like a redemption challenge. I think this could be. And I'll come back because I'm on the winning team because clearly we're going to win. Da. 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 Okay, Vivica, let's see. You are going to be working with Carly. Yeah. Oh, yes. I was ecstatic to be paired with Carly, especially because she is such an experienced sewer, and that's something that I'm lacking in. I'm learning, I'm taking lessons, but Carly definitely has a lot more knowledge than I do, so she's definitely an asset to the team. For sure. Yes. Okay, moving right along, Tora, you and Debbie. Yes. Yeah. I am so blessed because I got the best person. I got Debbie. I'm not even saying it because she's literally behind me. Seriously, she is couture glam. The face is perfection, and that's exactly what I want. My team <laughs> is someone who is polished and knows what they're doing, and that you, that's you. Thanks, Gail. Yeah, that's you. I love you. So, oh, yeah, get it. <laughs> and just to show we have all the names in the stocking, Coco is with Barbara. Like yeah. that. Honestly, it's so difficult to see people leave. And um, when you get to see them again, like it's like, oh my God, it's like Christmas. It's like we all became this little family. You're seeing them at Christmas. You just don't hate them this time. Because yeah. they're not a threat. We're not a threat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready to get in the holiday spirit? Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to go deck the halls for the talent show. You can get started and we'll see you later. <laughs> see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Well, Mary Mary girls, how are ya? Oh, hi, Ruby. I decided to get all dressed up for the ball tonight, too. Yes, you yes. look fabulous. You're so, full of balls. Jingle, jingle. I yes. love it. I see that you're working. Thank you. I love so, it. So, what are we doing here, Vivica? Oh, What's going on? Well, I am working with a little blue Christmas clown look I see tonight. That. I'm excited about it. I think you're the only one doing blues and silvers. Yep, and gold. Things. Yep, going non traditional with the whole thing, uh, being a little bit of a liberal snowflake. Okay. And working with the theme, we're excited about it. We are really gunning for the crown of a winter holiday pageant spectacular yes. that's non denominational. Non denominational. <laughs> Winter holiday feel good or real. Yeah, we're not gonna offend anybody. <laughs> Great. Yes. And you've got Carly for a partner. Yes, Carly is amazing. And it looks like you're fitting her right now here. Yes, yes. we've got darts, pleats, and everything. Don't move. I see a lot of pins. I know. Yeah. It's very sharp. Like, you know, be careful. The needles from your dress are gonna get me. <laughs> we can borrow a few, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but there's a needle. Yeah. Uh, so now, Carly, you're pretty experienced in uh, dressmaking and sewing. Aren't you? Yes, I am. Um, I actually worked a professional contract last summer for an amusement park making costumes for their live entertainment department. Oh. Carly has been able to totally uh, just take my body on with confidence, and I'm excited to take her body on with confidence Ooh, later hey. on tonight. Wow, oh. I don't know what's happening yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave right. you to it. Yes. I will see you at the at the All right. All right. Thank you. Well, hi, Kitty. Howdy. Hi. So you won the Daily Challenge. You're in a bit of a role here. You won yesterday. You won the Daily Challenge. You must be feeling pretty good. I am not feeling terrible about it. Well, I tell you what, this, this gown is looking like it's spinning for a very elegant ball here. We're sticking with the theme that we used for our Christmas stars. And luckily for me, I have Ivana, who's the queen of Christmas couture. So you won the Daily Challenge today, and you got to choose your partner, and you chose Ivana here. Tell us about that. Well, it was such an easy decision for you. Well, to me, she represents the camp's queen of couture. Um, she's just brilliant. I really admired her aesthetic. Kitty really wanted something with like a mermaid skirt that I totally whipped up for her. And we thought like a kind of a poncho kind of capelet moment would be really cool. And we're gonna kind of go from there and let her camp it up as yeah. much as we can. Yeah, so how are you gonna camp this up? Well, I know this is awfully glamorous, but when you've got this face to go with it, that kind of turns it into something else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, excellent job. You you look like you're almost done. Um, keep mm -hmm. up the good work. Thank we'll see you. you. We'll see you at the Christmas ball. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Well, hi there, Tora. Hi. How's it going? Great. Are you having fun? With I am. Challenge? Yeah, a lot of fun. Well, what do, well, tell me what you have going on here. Okay, so we're trying to trying to do this like glamour Christmas look, but we're doing the theme of the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. I like things hung for yeah, sure. Right? Who doesn't? And what is it? This looks like the top of a curtain, maybe. It is a curtain, so we've redone the curtain, and I don't know exactly. Debbie, what do you think this other fabric is? Uh, I think the other fabric was probably another curtain, or maybe a bed sheet. A nice, oh, a oh, silky, this is glamorous one of bed sheet. Cherry's fine bed sheet. <laughs> Only the best <laughs> Is that what that smell was? Oh, um, yeah. I had to cut around the stain. That normally costs extra, don't worry about it. So, Natora, the last time we were in the Arts and Crafts cabin, we were doing the wig heads, and you mentioned you were colorblind. It's true, red and green, so Christmas is my least favorite holiday. <laughs> Do you know what color this is? Um, it, it's probably green. Green, it's gray, definitely, or to me it's gray. It's purple. And then I can't tell you, <laughs> I don't know what color this is at all. This is kind of a gold, and this is okay. green, so they definitely go good together. I know when we were picking fabrics out, I had to ask her, I was like, what matches, what looks good? Yeah, and you're, you're helping her out, you're like, I'm trying my sabotage. absolute best. <laughs> <laughs> Sabotage. Well, good job. Do, do you think that's? A, do you see that as a hindrance or? Um, yeah, I've never had an issue doing drag until I've had to actually make things on the fly here. So, like the craft challenge the other day and this have been a huge challenge actually. We're gonna cut the opening in the middle so it's a chimney. We're gonna yes. stuff those stockings. Uh -huh. Awesome. And so, what's it like working together? I'm so blessed. I could not have asked for a better person. Like she's amazing. Well, you got a good partner who can teach yeah. you a couple things she can. Uh, while you're here. Yeah. Well, we love for the campers to learn things. <laughs> All right, well, keep it up. It's looking good so far. Thank you. 
And who do we have back here? Well, hi. hi. Boris and Diana. Yes. Diana, what have you got going on here? So, I found this red fabric and completely fell in love with it. Obviously. So, decided to run with that. Um, and since, you know, Boris has a, a clearly has a lot of extensive experience making gowns and dresses. Okay. We're putting the uh, fart in farts and crafts. Smells like home. <laughs> On top of, you know, I normally at home, uh, you know, do all of my sewing in full drag, you know, with a wig on. It just, it adds to the full effect. Well, you know. Yeah. It's like Juwang Fu when they wake up and put on drag to take a road to trip. To go, yeah, <laughs> and stay in it the whole time. Yeah. As you do. Yeah. Exactly. Now, are you going for a signature Diana silhouette here? Because it looks very, it looks glamorous. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's you know, the, the things that I know how to make are kind of in a, in a certain range and so I'm really relying on Boris to help me bring in you know amp up the camp amp it up yes it up. he has been he is full of so many ideas among many other things he's full of yeah <laughs> Boris what's it like being back today camp fantastic you found your ways out, your way out of yeah, the yeah I didn't really have to walk very far <laughs> so yeah. tell me what other surprises you got don't don't tell me everything but what else you we got can't to... tell you anything but there there are gonna be a, a number of reveals you mm -hmm. know through Diana Ooh. Fire signature moves mm -hmm. if you will things gonna go up in flames God. Maybe. <laughs> well, May if, if we if we don't get enough time to finish, it probably will. Yeah. Carry on. We'll and, do. Uh, we'll see you tonight at the talent show. Can't wait. Yay. Well, hi, Coco. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Hey, I'm Aunt really Barbara. Good. Hi, Jerry. Welcome back to camp. It's so good to be back. <laughs> so tell me about your look here. You got lucky with the tree skirt. Right? Yes, actually Barbara was able to grab it from like uh, the piles of garbage you gave us. So it's great. <laughs> so great. I had to punch some girls in the face, but it's all good. It's fine. Camp spirit. Um, actually, Barbara came up with a lot of the concepts, and then since I have sewing skills, like I'm putting everything together. Um, so our concept for this is to use this tree skirt and then make everything around that beautiful tree skirt look great. <laughs> but honestly, because of the fabric that we had, like being a bigger girl, like I wanted to make something that's still cute, sexy, and like makes me feel really great, and then camp it up on top of that. Is this gonna be a necklace? Or? Yes. This is a necklace piece, actually Barbara made this. Um, and these are gonna be the earrings that go along with it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. really pretty. Yeah, and then um, yeah. I'm figuring out a circle skirt to maybe go underneath it or not. Keep uh, going, uh, you do uh, not have a lot of time okay. to yeah. this. Yeah. Are you nervous about that? Are you nervous about completing it? I am nervous about completing it. I'm gonna have to bite a bitch off the sewing machine, so that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm good. I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. Well, last season only had one yarn needle to share. Oh, y'all got a sewing machine. <laughs> you treat us so well. Season two budget. Appreciate it. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you. you. Holy holly balls. Hey, Look at this. It looks like you are wrapping up pretty quickly over here. You know, yeah. we've just got a few more things to stitch and then we'll be on our way to the fashion show. All right, so Claire, this yes. actually looks a lot like Something you would, this reminds me a little bit of what you wore the other night Perfect. for your porcelain on, doll. It really kind of looks like like you, actually. On brand. <laughs> I think it's really, really lovely. And how has it been working with Paris? Oh, it's been great. I'm so glad that I got paired up with Paris. Yeah. It's great to have some quality time with her. Uh -huh. What is this? This, this is, is a chocolate seat piece. cover. So it's oh, it's a head piece. <gasps> yeah. Wow. And um, your stocking is right there, Ruth. Oh, look at that. We all have our own little stockings. <laughs> Everybody has a stocking. That is so cute. So when you went and grabbed all these materials along with the other campers, what was that like? Was it chaotic? It was the was Hunger, Hunger Games of drag. It, was it really <laughs> was. The Hunger Games of drag. Everyone died. <laughs> it is so intimidating being right next to Ibotta, who is, she just like, she just like walked up to a box, picked up a bolt of fabric, went to the sewing machine, and five seconds later, Kitty was wearing a mermaid gown dress. She's lucky that she's pretty and nice, or else I'd have to hate her. Do you think maybe you'll wear this at Christmas time? Oh, I definitely will. Christmas so, drag is my favorite Is it drag. really? All, everyone back home will know when this challenge comes out, they're like, yes, Claire. And Paris, are you a big holidays gal? Um, my sister was born in December. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. Mm -hmm. So is she your favorite Christmas gift of all time? 
now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it seems like you're almost done, but time is running out. So I want to give you We're enough time to finish up for the show tonight. I'm going to let you go, and I'll see you later. All right? All right, all right. Cracky Beaver Badge with a special Holly Gay twist. Ooh, I can't wait to see what the campers and their little elf helpers came up with. I hope it leaves me feeling pine and not claustrophobic. Oh, 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 oh. I am your current reigning non-denominational snow time holiday queen at large. I am proud to be a liberal snowflake representing New York City at Camp Wanakiki gunning for the Crafty Beaver Badge. Thank you to my sponsor Carly in Einem Clyde for all her help making this non-traditional dress made out of wrapping paper, garland, bows, and ornaments. I really don't want to offend anybody, so I hope that you all enjoy your Chris Mahonic Wadzika in peace, if that's your thing. Thoughts and prayers, Vivica Galactica. Thank you for calling 1-800-MEET-A-HO, your one-stop shop to meet your mythical holiday soulmate. Let's start on your journey together. If you'd like to hear our success stories, press 1. If you feel personally victimized by a pre-recorded message, press 3. From Mr. Santa Claus. One year, I was out on the town and I was looking for my missus to my claws. It was summer and me and the reindeer gang went out to old Jack Frost's coming out party when I met my meet a -ho. Mrs. Claus was stunning in her form-fitting summer garb and ill-placed ornaments that glittered like my snow-covered erection at the moment I knew she was the one. Here she is! This sugar cum fairy is giving it all for Christmas this year. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. No worries when reaching into this stocking. Make a fist and dig in deep, elbow deep. You won't find a single lump of coal down there. Just velvety smoothness, the hallmark of a lady on everyone's naughty list. Best leave some milk and cookies for this queen. And don't skip. <laughs> she knows when you've been sleeping, and she knows when you've been fake. Merry Christmas, bitches! The gift of Hymen is here. On the twelfth day of Claire, Miss Betty and Cherry gave to me twelve stress-induced panic attacks, eleven new best friends, ten nights of no sleep, Nine meals of grilled cheese, eight amazing talent shows, seven muddy drag looks, six hard-earned badges, five golden showers, four passes at Ruthie, three crafting challenges, two celebrity judges, and a crown as the new queen of camp. Hint, hint. Who the ho, ho, ho is that? It's me, Diana Fire, celebrating the most wonderful time of the year, no matter what month it is. I'm such a gift, I brought along a mini-me, just to make sure there's enough to go around. Is that a Yule log under my skirt, or am I just happy to be here? I've got my campy candy cane attitude all wrapped up and ready to share with you. And if you've been real naughty, I'll let you open a present early. Untie my bow if you want to get into my box. <gasps> but what's this? It's empty? Oh no, maybe Santa just hasn't come yet. I sure hope he's getting close. Twas the night before Christmas, and in case you didn't know, my name's Kitty, and I'm saying as high class ho ho ho. Tonight I'm serving opulence. She owns everything, because she done maxed out Santa's credit cards. My look was put together by Ivana of the North Pole and myself. I'm still looking for a few stocking stuffers, so if you've got a Visa or American Express, we'll do nicely, thank you. We can have some holiday cheer. 
Thank you and good night. Why settle for ho hum grubbin' when you can enjoy dinner and a show at Hamburger Mary's? Join us for our nightly Dining with the Divas drag shows featuring some of the best local drag queen entertainment. Sink your teeth into one of our mouth-watering burgers or a variety of other menu items and wash it all down with a signature Hamburger Mary's cocktail. Don't forget about our fabulous Sunday brunch, honey. Did someone say mimosa? Hamburger Mary's is the perfect place to celebrate any occasion. There's always a reason to eat, drink, and be merry. Visit HamburgerMary's.com to find a location near you. Reservations are strongly recommended. Well, happy holidays. Happy ho ho ho. Merry Mary. Oh, I thought it was a great, I'm ting ting tingling. Oh, I'm jingle jing jingling. I and love I'm that. just still ho ho hoing. Uh, well, let's talk about our campers. Who did we like? Well, I loved Diana Fire. Loved yes. her. Yes. She brings it every single talent show, and tonight was no exception. I think this was her best. I love the reveals. She had a beard reveal. She had a dress reveal. So her little dress turned into a gown. Um, I thought it was just terrific. It was funny. It was campy. She made the dress. I mean, uh, I think Boris just helped helped accentuate it, but I think she constructed most of that dress. I, it was, was great. absolutely lovely. Yeah. Gorgeous dress, campy delivery, Diana Fire. Mm. Great. Pretty much. I also really liked Tora. Oh. She came into the competition really, really um, doing well, on mm. fire, so to speak, mm. uh, and then kind of got lost in the middle there. Well, her looks are always solid, but they were, they, you know, they were they were but solid. Yeah. Today she brought it. Yeah. I mean, clever whip, the fire placing. Tora's was uh, one of my favorites, for mm -hmm. sure. I loved that it was so original. I didn't realize Santa was so hung. The only thing I wish is so was like something in the stockings would have been kind of kind of cute if there was just something poking out of the stockings or there was like a little secret surprise or something. Claire, Claire I thought was good too. I did not like Claire's daily, uh, uh, daily camp activity. Well, I talked a little bit to Claire and I said that her dress was actually very pretty and I was quite impressed with it. But I did say to her, this isn't how you usually just like throw a lot of things on there, it's not your aesthetic, and she said it wasn't. And that she wanted to show us something that was a little bit toned down, where she wasn't hot glue gutting a bunch of things together like she did for the tree topper challenge or the foam wig head challenge, the mirror mirror challenge. She wanted to give us a little bit more traditional, and I, I thought that was uh, that was great for her. That was toned down. It was toned down. For Claire, that was toned down. It was toned down for Claire. <laughs> no, I, I I thought it was great, and I thought her uh, story to go along with the look mm -hmm. was was probably the best. I thought that was a really nice I, story. It was I, good. I did like her story. Kitty, Kitty Litter, she's fresh off her win uh, yesterday. That dress was gorgeous. It was yes. very pretty. And did you see how confident she was in it? And I just loved her personality in that dress. She was just she delightful was. and sexy and. Confident and oh, I just thought she was terrific. She was feeling it. And she was. She was giving us all the poses, all the moves. She was glamorous. She was sexy. I, I do wish she would have some jewelry. Um, she's not really one to wear a lot of jewels, but I think with this look, some of those beads that were in the box, yeah. some of those yes, ornaments. she could have made something very easily. It was a very glamorous look that I feel some jewelry and some uh, bling would have made it even more so, and also would have put a little more kitty in the dress, because that was a lot of Ivana. It was, she was yeah. lucky that uh, she got to pick yes, she yes. who helped her, and Ivana was the perfect choice, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so she lucked out that way. She did. Toward the bottom this week, uh, for me, um, Vivica. Yeah, the thing with Vivica is, um, I love that she picked a different color palette, but the top of the dress looked kind of cheap compared to, like it looked like it was three different looks. Disconjointed. The blouse did not go with the skirt. The skirt was beautiful and I loved it actually. It's made on a wrapping paper. It was on a oh. paper, you couldn't really even tell. The Christmas bows were just unnecessary. It cheapened. I think she was trying to be bawdy and funny and campy by putting the bows on her kazumbas, but uh, it's Christmas. it didn't need it. <laughs> it was campy enough, it was made out of paper for Christ's sake. <laughs> Coco? I, want to I wanted to love it, but I just didn't. I didn't. Um, I liked the necklace. I thought the necklace was cute. That was but the best part. Overall, it just wasn't. It just wasn't doing it. It seemed off to me. But it wasn't 
you know, enough to be at the top of the competition at this point. Yeah. I didn't hate any of them. I didn't either. I didn't either. So that's what, that's what makes the decision tough because, you know, we have to decide. So we have to pick a bottom two and we have to send someone packing. Well, there are some on the nice list and some on the naughty list. So yes, I say we call them back are. in here and we make some decisions. I say I agree. All right. Let's bring the campers back in. The queen or king of Camp Wanakiki will take home a fabulous prize package worth nearly $10,000, including an all expense paid cruise provided by cruise planners at All Out Vacations. Check out their exciting LGBTQ groups at alloutvacations.com and click on groups. Let your cruise and land tour specialists help you discover exciting adventures around the world. A custom made one of a kind necklace and earring set designed by award-winning artist Chris Jensen of C3 Designs. Handcrafted of sterling silver with jasper and pink topaz gemstones. Free burgers for a year, compliments of Hamburger Mary's, where you can eat, drink, and be merry, honey. The winner of Camp Wanakiki will also be featured as a headliner at the Austin International Drag Festival, the world's largest drag festival. All this and a great big wad of cash, too. Happy holidays, campers! Yes. Fantastic! Wow, we cannot believe you made such stunning outfits out of all the crap that we got in those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and in a very short time, too. Good job, everybody. Yes. And you just made the holidays a little bit gayer. I can't believe it, but you did it. You're all very, very crafty indeed. However, as you know, there are six of you and only five Crafty Beaver badges. So one of you will be taking a hike tonight. So let's uh, discuss your looks. We'll start with Claire. Claire, I love it actually. I thought this was really cute. It was nice to see you toned down a little bit in your way, <laughs> in your way toned down. And I will say nothing says happy holidays like a set of mercury glass anal beads. <laughs> so happy holidays to you. Yeah, I thought that it was I thought it was very, very well done. I thought your story that went along with your look was actually my favorite story uh, of the day. So good job today. Thank you. I want to know what it was like to work with Paris. It was great working with Paris. Uh, we hadn't had a lot of time to really get to know each other yet. Out of all the campers, she is probably the one I just hadn't had that time yet. So when her name came out of that bag, I was thrilled. I was like, yes, let's work together. And she jumped right in. She's like, what do you want me to do? we we'll make it happen. And we made it happen. I loved it. Awesome. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. So Coco, hi. <laughs> so I, um, I thought your look at first glance is very cute. I think it's something that with a little bit more finesse and finishing uh, could be something that someone would wear almost. Um, there are some issues with some of the fabric poking out on the side and everything. Um, but I love the balls in the hair too. From the from the neck up was stunning. I mean, I love the jewelry, the accessories uh, were very nice. But again, it was just a little sloppy. I mean, it's hard to make a dress out of Christmas stuff, so it's hard to give like critiques. But uh, this is not my favorite look from you, and I'm guessing it probably isn't one of your favorite looks either. Um, especially when you delivered like some incredible showstoppers at the talent night, such like the water sports badge was just phenomenal. So this really wasn't my favorite. But again, I understand the time constraints, the materials you're working with, etc. It just kind of missed the mark a little tiny bit. And tell us what it was like working with Barbara. Um, it was actually out of all of the campers, it's, it's very honest. Um, I actually haven't, Barbara was the one I didn't know very well at all, actually, which was really interesting. Um, between the two of us, um, we don't have a lot of crafting skills, actually, which was so interesting working in that room because everybody's partner is a goddamn mistress. I was like, what is this? I was like, oh. And so me and Barbara were like, okay, well, let's do the best we can. Seriously, it's almost like you knew that I didn't know Barbara well. I was like, oh, we'll give us a chance to talk and hang out. So that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Tora. Um, I thought it was fantastic. I mean, I, I think of all the looks yours, uh, again, you, you, you always think, how can I do something that's, that's not just a gown, it's got a story, I mean, the, the chimney, uh, Santa's really hung there. I mean, it's, I thought it was very clever, I thought it was very, very, very pretty. Nice. 
Torah, I thought this was an overload of Christmas cuteness. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I thought it was adorable. I, I, I thought it was just delightful. Thank you so much. Yeah. So let's, let me just talk about it. So you are colorblind. I am. And you yeah. have a hard time seeing greens and reds. Correct. So when you heard the challenge today, did you flip out? I didn't until I started grabbing material and I couldn't tell what color was what because it's Christmas. So I, could, I grabbed the, um, the fireplace, like the exterior, because it was shiny and sparkly, which is normally what I gravitate to. Um, and Debbie was my partner, and she grabbed uh, the green and some of the other stuff, and it just fit well together. And actually, we had a perfect amount of fabric to construct everything. So it just happened by chance. And how was it working with Debbie? Um, I owe everything about this outfit to her. I mean, she, is, she has the same drive and passion for drag that I do. And we, we just work very well together and we always amp up to the next level and I can't, I can't say enough about her. Debbie was the first one off of the show. She was asked to take a hike. Uh, so was it great to see her again? We didn't really bond too much before. And then today I feel like actually we have a very strong friendship because of this outfit. Oh, Merry awesome. Christmas to everyone. Oh, bring Christmas. your cameras together <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> so let's go around to Diana then. Hi back there. Oh, Yours, hi. you went for a Christmas glam look, I see. I did love this a lot. I love that the little mini me Diana at top. I loved all the reveals and the surprises. My favorite was the beard. I mean, if you're gonna take your beard off, you better have another beard underneath. <laughs> My motto. I love the reveals too. I loved it when the, the dress became a gown. I thought that was terrific. I loved everything about this look. And you know, I love a gal with a tight red furry box. Ooh. Yeah, I can't go wrong. Mine's the tightest it can. <laughs> I was hoping to see more in the box, but you know. Oh, so was I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was very, I mean, very, very pretty. Very, very well done. How was it like working with Boris? Working with Boris was fantastic. I was so excited that the bearded queen and the drag king got paired up together. I felt like that was such a perfect combination. Um, especially because I, I, not to diss anyone on the stage right now, but I knew that I could sew my own dress, so I could lean on Boris to help me be that outside eye and help me figure out what direction I'm supposed to go with it. Because I knew when I grabbed this fabric, I absolutely fell in love with this fabric and I knew I wanted to make a dress out of it. And so my first move was to go to Boris and say, so how do I amp up the camp? We found the box. He started brainstorming ideas for the headpiece. He found this little angel, which is, you know, so fitting because I'm also a little angel. <laughs> <laughs> um, and came up with the idea of dressing it in an absolutely identical dress. So it was absolutely amazing working with him. It was, you know, like I just saw him yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's one thing Boris knows, it's how to amp up his camp. Yes, Certainly. <laughs> I, I could not have had this level of camp without him. Yes. Vivica Galactica. Hi, oh. hi. Um, I think um, you had the same sort of thing with, with Coco a little bit that I loved the headpiece. Uh, I thought it was like, that to me was the best part of the dress. Um, the rest was maybe a little over, the accessories were just not necessary. It kind of like cheapened it a little bit for me, the bows. Um, uh, I like the color choice that you went with the blue. I agree. I mean, I, li I like that the colors were different. You chose a different kind of um, color palette to be a little bit more original. Um, it looked to me like it was two different concepts. That skirt, I want to wear that skirt. <laughs> um, however, the top it, in the skirt, I, want, I think the top is really cute too. Um, I just wish they just don't work together. And I know what you're doing with the little ribbons on the, the bows on the boobies. I get it. I know what you're doing. Um, but it, it's too, it's too much in your face. It's too, look at me, I'm trying to be campy, so I'm gonna put bows on my tits. You know what I mean? It was just a little bit too much. Yeah, the wrapping paper was brilliant. I mean, using that as yeah. a skirt. I mean, yeah, that. Because when you first walked out, it's like, I didn't realize it was wrapping paper at first. And they're like, that's wrapping, that's a wrap. So what was it like working with Carly? Working with Carly was amazing. We had such a really good bond uh, before she went home. She really talked to me off the cliff earlier. Uh, this week, and I was really glad that I got to see her again with her fluorescent chartreuse wig. And um, she really helped me a lot come together with the construction of this piece, and we worked together really amping up the idea of the camp of this outfit. And I'm honestly really proud to wear it. This skirt is one of the favorite things that I've ever worn, and I am 
proud to be wearing it right now. All right. Hey, kitty kitty back there. <laughs> so I am in love with this dress. Um, and the, and your, the way you came out and owned it um, was just amazing. I mean, it just, you... As we've seen you every day, you're coming more and more and more out of your shell, and we're living for it. I think it's I think it's great. Yeah, the dr the dress itself was so well put together. You were so so fortunate to win the daily challenge yeah. and choose your partner. I Ivana is a master seamstress. One thing that I wish you would that I was hoping to see is um, just more of those embellishments. I mean, make some jewelry perhaps. I mean, you're not wearing any jewelry at all. There's no earrings, there's no necklace, there's no rings, there's no bracelets. Uh, there was so much shiny crap in those boxes. Like you could have made something to accessorize this look. Yeah, and I would add to that because that may not be your normal aesthetic, but with this look and you're going so glamour, it would have just, that bling is almost necessary to complete the look. And it almost was distracting to have the naked hands and the naked arms, um, especially when you're so gracefully, you know. It, I mean, for example. <laughs> <laughs> How was it like working with Ivana? It was actually a dream for me because I really appreciate Ivana's aesthetic. Um, I think she's just brilliantly talented. She's pretty and she's funny. And the fact that I gave her a design and that she whipped it out in two shakes of a lamb's tail was pretty amazing to me. So when I think when they say that you, if somebody makes you a garment that you really love, that it changes the way that you uh, present it, it was so true in this case because I was really feeling it. You were. Yeah. <laughs> we saw it. We noticed. And we enjoyed it. I almost gave you some money, but this, 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 I didn't bring my purse with me. Sorry. Um, it's you know. just cheap. The position that we're in today is, is one of the hardest, and it was the hardest last season with the Crafty Beaver because it's such a hard, hard challenge, and it's very difficult to judge you based on something that is, is so difficult to do. You literally had hours and that was it. I mean, we gave you this box this afternoon and tonight you're presenting this look. So congratulate all of yourselves and each other and your partners. None of you presented a bad outfit. No. None of you. Mm -hmm. You are all glorious, campy Christmas queens right now, so. Or non-denominational holiday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> all of that, all of that. <laughs> all the denomination. It's come to the point of the night that we have to um, choose our winner as well as the uh, camper to take a hike. So first, uh, Kitty, fantastic job. You are safe. You have earned your Crafty Beaver badge. You may wait backstage for the badging ceremony. Thank you. Diana. You are in the top two. Coco, I'm sorry to say that you are in the bottom two. Tora, you are in the top two. Claire, you are safe. You, you have earned your Crafty Beaver badge, <laughs> which means unfortunately, Vivica, you are also joining Coco in the bottom two. So Claire, you may wait backstage with Kitty for the badging ceremony. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations, Tora Hyman and Diana Fire. You did spectacularly today. Shall we vote? To see I think we shall. All right. I think the winner of today's talent show is Diana. Oh. And I loved you both, but I love Tora just a little bit more. <laughs> and I also loved you both, um, but no longer a bridesmaid. <gasps> Now the bride. Now the bride. <laughs> Congratulations. You've won your very own Boxy Girl set. Organize all your makeup, jewelry, and accessories with this attractive and space-saving organization system. With Boxy Girl, the possibilities are limited by your imagination, but definitely not your counter space. Visit BoxyGirl.com and get organized with style. Congratulations, Diana Fire. You are the winner of today's challenge. You can wait backstage for the badging ceremony. Thank you. Nice job.
Campers, this is always the toughest part of camp. But you know that there just aren't enough badges for everyone. So please understand that we wish that we could have Camp Wanakiki year round and keep all of you forever. Well, shall we vote to see who we think gets the last badge? I thought the last badge of the evening should go to Coco Gem Holiday. And it was a very close decision, but by the hair on my chinny chin chin, I said that Vivica should get the badge. And again, as I said, this is, this is always the toughest part of camp, and I don't want to send either one of you home. We don't want to send either one of you home. Um, but the camper that will get the last Crafty Beaver badge is Coco Gem Holiday. I'm sorry, Vivica. We love you, we adore you, but you have to take a hike. Coco, you can wait backstage. Thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity of a lifetime to be here at Camp Wanakiki. I will always be a proud member of season two and hopefully all stars if it exists in the future. <laughs> the last thing that I have to say is that pineapple will always belong on pizza. Thank you. <laughs> Leaving the competition tonight is very bittersweet because I'm really proud of myself for making it to the top half. Uh, that is something that I wanted to do when I got into the competition, but it also hurts a lot more when you can just get to the point to where you can see the prize. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show some of the best outfits that I made with some of the most incredible designers. I know that I'm going to leave you guys wanting a lot more, and I promise that you're going to see that on my social media soon, uh, because I'm really proud of everything that I brought here to Camp Wanikiki. If there's anything that I want uh, the world to know is that I learned to be really proud of myself and everything that I created. Uh, comparison is the thief of joy and I got to see myself and see how different all of my looks and everything that I brought to the competition were and I'm really proud of myself and if there's anything I want the universe to know is that I want you guys to remember me by my heart because I I'm always open and I always share my love with others and I am always an open book. My name is Vivica Galactica. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Vivica Galactica. And last but not least, always remember that pineapple does belong on pizza. all day folks i'm getting choked up sorry what can i say attention campers you can show off your campy can-do attitude with some merchandise from camp on kiki available online hello campers 
It's Camp Counselor Ruthie, and if you love Camp Wanakiki as much as I do, please subscribe. Just hit that little logo right there to subscribe. Just, just hit it. Now. Just go ahead. Hit the logo. Now!